Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm being unboxing my owl crate for the month of June. Um, I didn't think I was gonna film this anymore because I did ended up canceling for like two weeks and then um, they were having a sale on their subscription. So I got another three months. So I don't know if I'm gonna cancel after those three months. I do love receiving owl crate, but I really need to just not pay for so many subscription boxes because I have way too many and it just, I don't have that much money to be affording all of these, to be honest. But, um, yeah, they were having a sale on their subscriptions, so I decided to get three more months of Owl Crate. Um, and then they also just launched their adult um, subscription, which is just book only, thankfully. And I did sign up for that. Um, so, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I, I said I was going to cancel, but here we are. And I signed up for another subscription, so, uh, I don't know, but <laughs> let's just go ahead and open this up. I do love receiving Owl Crate, I do love their boxes, but, um, yeah, I really need to figure something out, because I do not need this many subscription boxes. And the reason I canceled Owl Crate was because I just want to keep subscriptions that do spread edges or digital edges on their books, and Owl Crate doesn't really do that, um, but... I do like receiving them. Um, but anyway, that's how it looks like. Um, and this is the spoiler card for this month, the month of June, which is If the Faith Allow. <sighs> okay, let's just go ahead and do this. So the first thing I'm seeing here is this little bag right here. It's very tiny, very small. So let's go ahead and open this up. And inside here, we have a necklace um yeah so this is inspired by the percy jackson series this enamel pendant necklace refer reference of her demon god duo percy and annabeth um so you'll find percy swords on rip riptide on one side and the other will be athena's owl on the other side so yeah that's what it is um it is pretty nice but yeah, this is just going to be a decor piece for me. Um, I never read Percy Jackson, but actually I just saw today that the Bookish Box is doing a special edition of the whole series. So I'm definitely going to be ordering that and putting this with those. So, yeah. It, it does look really cool, but I'm not going to wear it. It's just going to be a decor piece for me. Also, sorry if I sound um, pretty sick. I am, so sorry about that. I know it's not... Pleasant, but you know, here we are. I just didn't want to wait to feel better um, to film these videos because I'm very impatient. So yeah, we have our enamel pen for this month, which is the Treasure Tomes um, Limited Edition Pen Collection. This is inspired by the Raven Cycle. This is six of twelve, um, and I love these. These are so pretty. So here it is, um, and again, it opens up, which are so 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 cool. And that's the inside, and I love it. I haven't read the Raven Cycles yet, but I do want to. Um, so I'm very excited, and this looks very really pretty, and I love it. So I'm excited to eventually get around to reading that series. All right, so the next thing we have is this right here. This nice box, if it focuses, yeah, okay. So this is the Song of Achilles Hand Mirror. So, yeah, that's interesting. Um, I haven't read <laughs> the Song of Achilles either, but, yeah. So, yeah, the hand mirror. It's very pretty, though. Okay, so here it is, the back design, and I love it. I think that's so, so pretty. And then here it is, the mirror side, which you guys can see. <laughs> but, yeah, this is very, very pretty. I really love this. Um... Probably just gonna use this for photos and decor, but yeah, this is very, very pretty. It's just a mirror. Um, it does say on the mirror, it says, I will know him in death at the end of the world, and I love that. So, this is so pretty. I love it. Yeah, this is very gorgeous. So, I'm very, very happy with this item actually. That's really, really cool. Uh, the next thing we have here is another box. So, there it is. Um, so, this is no, keep your wooden tables and hall safe from wayward burns with this 
thematic trivet inspired by fairy tales from Norse mythology. This trivet features a quote by Neil Gaiman and had been lovely illustrated by Paul Ham? I mean, I don't know. Um, okay. So here is the design on it. Um, I like the design. The design, okay, let me focus. Okay, there we go. Um, it's a pretty design. Um, would I get any use out of this? Probably not. Um, and I actually don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the design, actually. But it says, that's the joy of myth. Read the stories, then make them your own by Neil Gaiman. Um, it's okay. But, yeah, probably gonna get rid of this, maybe? I don't like it. So, yeah. Anyways. Then we have this right here. Which seems like gonna be a big item. Um, on the tag it says it's a picnic blanket and then it has folding instructions. I'm not gonna open it. Okay, that'd be too much work. But I do like the design on it. It's just some blue horses. I think that's really cute. So it's a picnic um, table blanket. Um, it's inspired from the Scorpio races by Maggie Steepwater. Um, so yeah, that's really pretty. Um, yeah, I like it. I never really go on picnics, but maybe I'll start going on picnics now. But yeah, this is so nice. I do like it. And then we have our book at the bottom here. Um, so, yeah. So here is our book for this month, which is Threads That Blind. So, I don't know how I feel about this book, to be honest. Um, it's pretty, but... Okay, anyways. Uh, here is the best I can show you the cover it's just really hard to show but yeah um, this book is really getting a lot of different editions because I know Barnes & Noble has made this their book for the month as well okay <laughs> so yeah um, here is the spine and then here is the back I'm not really a big fan of when they do this type of material uh, where it's like a clear dust jacket so like I do like them actually but I just don't like it for this design I just think for this book it looks a little messy a little clunky because I feel like there's just too much going on at the same time because the designs are just overlapping each other so like I don't know, I just feel like it's too much. Um, but it doesn't look that good, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Um, they have the naked heart back there with some nice rainbow flowing, which does look very pretty. But I just think um, it's just a little too much with the clear dust jacket. Um, on the back it says, fill your fear and keep going anyway. Yeah, I just feel like with the clear dust jacket, um, it's just too much going on. Um, if you put this on, like this little building is just going on top of this design. So it just looks messy and it just doesn't look right. But whatever. Uh, we have the inner papers, which I do love. It continues on with the same type of folding on the hardcover there. And here the back in papers which are the same. I do like them, they're very pretty. Um, and of course we have a signed signature and we also have an author's letter there, bound in, which I love. Um, so I do like those. And yeah, that's it for this one. Um, yeah, I'm not just, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of this design, uh, but let me know what you guys think about it. Um, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. I do like the items though. The items this month are pretty good in my opinion. Uh, besides the necklace, I would say. Or the trivet thing. Um, but yeah, besides that, I'm not, also not a big fan of the book. <laughs> um, I just wish they included some spray edges or something. I think it would look better. But whatever at this point. Um, but yeah, I just think it's just a little too much going on on the cover there. Um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> let me know your thoughts of the book and other items. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.